Recently, a tool named Ulama has gotten everyone's attention due to its easy to use interface to run open source LLMs on local machine for free. It's even adopted by LLM app building frameworks like Langchain, Llama Index and so on for accessing local LLMs. Do check out my videos where I explain how to use the tool and Olama Python library which is wrapper around it. Due to this easily accessible open source LLMs, people are using them for building RIG app rather than paying for OpenAI or Replicate REST APIs. In my previous videos, I have already covered guides on building RIG applications using Olama and Langchain and Olama and Llama Index. But in this video, I will specifically concentrate on building RIG application using Olama Python library only. We won't use any external LLM app building frameworks. For handling user queries, we will use open source LLM Llama 2 with 7 billion parameters. For storing and searching embeddings of external documents, we will use Facebook AI similarity search library. Now before I show you the code, let me explain you the workflow of our RAG app quickly. In case of RAG application, user query is first sent to intermediary named Retriever. The Retriever then generates embedding of a user query and sends it to Vector Store. Vector Store is a place where embeddings of external documents are kept, which were not used in training of our LLM. Using query embeddings, Vector Store is search for matching embeddings and those embeddings that matches with the query embeddings, the relevant documents of those embeddings are retrieved. Then a prompt is created using query and the relevant documents. The content of relevant documents are combined to create a context in that prompt. This prompt is then given to LLM to generate a response. The LLM is now able to generate a more informed response because of the presence of relevant documents as context. In our case, we will use Facebook AI similarity search to store for storing external documents. So that's the workflow of our RAG application. To use open source LLMs on local machine, we first need to download and install Ulama. For that, go to Ulama website ulama.com and then click on the download button. From download page, install Ulama based on your operating system. Once Ulama is successfully installed, you can go to terminal and verify installation by executing command ulama and if you see help page like this then it confirms that ulama is successfully installed once ulama is successfully installed we need to download llama 2 model for that go to terminal and execute command ulama pull llama 2 and this command will download llama 2 model now this can take some time because the file size is around 4 GB and it will depend on your internet speed how long it will take. Once Llama 2 model is downloaded, we need to bring up Ulama server to access this LLM. For that, you need to go to terminal and execute this command Ulama serve. Now, if you are on Linux operating system, then you might face an error like this that the address is already in use. The reason behind this is that when you install Olama on Linux operating system, a system service is created which will keep running Olama server behind the scene. So you can also check the status of that system service by executing command systemctl status Olama. And you should be able to see that the process is already running. So if a server is already running, then you do not need to take any step. But if you are on a Mac OS or Windows, then you will need to bring up Olama server by executing command ulama serve. I have kept total code of building our RAG application in the Jupyter notebook where I will explain the total process step by step process of building this RAG application. At the beginning I have highlighted the important steps of uh, building this RAG application. So we will load data from external sources which is external blocks. We will generate embeddings of that uh, blocks, contents of these blocks then we will create a vector index then we will create a retriever which will use that vector index and retrieve relevant documents and then we will combine the previous uh, step components and create a complete allergy application you will need to install Olama python library and facebook ai similarity search the cpu version of that library if you have a gpu on, on your system then you can use gpu version as well so first of all i have imported Olama. And then I have set LLM as Llama 2, our Llama 2 model. And
and then on olama i have called this function generate to this function we can give any query so it will generate the response for that query for model we can give the llm which we want to use llama 2 so i have asked a simple query that uh, do you know about lot 3 and the response is dictionary and that dictionary has a key name response where the actual text of the response is present and as you can see from the response that the model is apologizing saying that it's not aware of this entity or person called cloud 3 now cloud 3 is a conversational ai released by anthropic around a month back and llama 2 model was released in 2023 so it will be trained on data collected till 2022 so that's why llama 2 is not aware of cloud 3 now in our rig application we will provide a context document to this llm so then it will be able to answer the question about cloud 3 so first of all we will load data from external sources for that you will need requests and beautiful soup modules so over here i have a list of urls and these urls are various blocks on anthropic website and all of these blocks are about different version of cloud so these two urls are for cloud 3 then there are few urls for 2.1 cloud 2 version cloud 1.2 version cloud pro and so on so using the content of this external blog post we will create our vector store and from those documents we will retrieve relevant documents and give it as context to our llm to generate a response about cloud 3 so i am looping through each url over here and then retrieving the content of that url using request.get and then i am passing the html of uh, that uh, blog post and then retrieving the total content of that blog post and in docs i am appending a simple dictionary so i am maintaining each document each blog post as a dictionary where the key page content will hold the total text of that blog post and the metadata key will have a url of that blog post so over here i am displaying the single document how it looks like so as you can see it's a dictionary and page content has total text of that uh, particular blog post and metadata has the url of that blog post next i have explained how you can generate embeddings of user query as well as the external document contents so for that we can use embedding models now again i am using llama to embedding models but you can use any other embedding models as well for that uh, for generating embedding we will call embeddings function on olama library over there we can give the name of the embedding model and in prompt we can give whatever text for which we want to generate embedding so again i have given the query do you know about lord 3 and the response is again dictionary now in this dictionary there is a key name embedding where the embedding is present so as you can see i am displaying the first five embeddings and the total length of embeddings is a 4096 so that's the length of the embedding generated by llama 2 model for different models the size of the embedding can be different so now that we know how to generate embeddings of text let's create a vector index using those embeddings of external documents so for that we need to import uh, facebook ai simulated search library and i have set dims to 4096 so this is the dimension of the embeddings and as we have used llama 2 model which generates embedding of size 4096 i have set dimensions to 4096 and from fiss i will create a flat index over there i need to give the dimension 4096 so this will create uh, an instance of uh, index flat which is our vector index so once we have created embeddings uh, vector index i am looping through each document so if you remember documents is a list of dictionaries where uh, each dictionary has a content of blog post so i am looping through each blog post content and then generating embedding of that blog post using olama.embeddings function over there i have given doc of uh, page content which is the content of that blog post is prompt and once the embedding is generated that, that embedding is appended in this very array docs embeds so docs embeds will have embeddings of all the blog posts and then once the embeddings for all the blog posts are generated we add the embeddings of all that uh, blog post to our vector index by calling this function add on it and over there we give our docs embeds which is embedding of document 
and we can retrieve how many documents embeddings are present in our vector index by calling this attribute and total and as you can see the count return is seven because we have seven blog posts so now that we have created a vector index let's create a retriever which will take a user query as input and will return a list of relevant documents so for that first of all i have declared a function named retriever which takes the embedding of query and the parameter name top k which accepts integer and returns those uh, relevant embeddings the ma matching relevant embeddings so in vector index we search for query embeddings so over here i am calling search function on vector index object and over there we provide the embeddings of our query and the parameter top k so it will return a two arrays one is distances and one is indexes distances will be the top uh, four or five whatever count of top k is present those top five documents uh, distances from the query embeddings and what are indexes of those documents those two things will be written so in the next step i am testing it in the next cell so first of all i have created embedding of again the same query that do you know about lot 3 and then i have called this function retriever using that embedding of uh, query and the output is distances and indexes and as you can see these are the distances of documents so these four documents are retrieved the index of those four documents is 3 5 6 and 0 and 0 has the 0 is the document which is which has content which is near to this query do you know about lord 3 then the content of uh, document which is present at index 6 that is near to this query so we can look through this uh, particular indexes and retrieve which are those url so as you can see these four urls are retrieved and these two urls has information about cloud 3 so those are retrieved as well so next i have declared a function retrieve relevant document so this function takes a actual user query as inputs which is a string and top k so how many relevant documents you want to retrieve so this function first generates the embedding of the user query and then call the retriever function which we declared earlier using that uh, embedding and retrieve the distances and index 6 and using those uh, indexes the relevant documents are retrieved so i am looping through documents and if the index of the document is present in this index list then we return the documents and over here i am testing it so we can give retrieve relevant documents the user query which is do you know about lot 3 and it will return relevant documents so that relevant documents are list of dictionaries so we can look through them and print the metadata and as you can see these two urls cloud 3 family and cloud which has information about cloud 3 are retrieved as well so now that we have created a retriever as well we can create our complete rlg application for that first of all i have declared a function name create prompt this function takes two parameter query which is a string and context which is a string as well and then using these two strings it create the prompts and return it and that prompt as you can see is a string saying answer the following question based on the provided context only then we have given context and then at the end the query is mentioned so this prompt will be used to generate response of the user queries then in the next cell i have declared a function name rag rag underscore app so this function is our complete rag application it takes user query as input and then generates a response and returns it so first of all using user query relevant documents are retrieved using this function retrieve relevant documents which we declared earlier then we are looping through contents of relevant documents and combining all of them and those contents are separated by new line so that will be the context of uh, our query and then the prompt is created using the create prompt function where query and context are given so this prompt is then given to olama dot generate function where the llm is llama2 and prompt is the prompt with the relevant documents content and this will generate the inform response which is then written so in the next cell i have called our rag app uh, function with the query do you know about lord 3 and then i have printed the response so as you can see from the response this time this time it's saying that yes i am familiar with cloud 3 
It's a family of foundational AI models that can be used for various applications such as customer interactions, content moderation and cost saving tasks. And it knows about the three models which are there in Claude 3 as well, which are Haiku, Sonnet and Opus. So as you can see, when we asked this uh, LLM Lama 2 earlier that whether do you know about Claude 3 or not, it said that it is not aware of Claude 3. But now that we have given it the relevant context where the information about Claude 3 is present, it's able to generate the informed answer which knows about Claude 3. So that's how you can build RAG application using Olama Python library only. If you have any doubts or any questions, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section.